All right, that should do us. Okay, howdy guys, I'm your old pal, Jason Lewis. And yeah, it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video to the Auto Edits channel, took some time off, but I'm back. And I'm back with a fun uh, giveaway video. I actually am gonna be giving away 10 sets of these new Grease Monkey Duranit gloves. And over the last couple years, they've noticed that I've been really kinda showcasing the Bones Nitrile gloves, my personal favorite gloves here on the channel. And I've been putting miles on a bunch of different styles of their gloves. So I'll give some product reviews and my thoughts on these gloves. And then I actually have a set of the Duranit gloves I put some miles on and can talk about those. Set up this cool little test course to check the dexterity of the new Duranit gloves. Let's get going. So for the first couple of features to highlight on the new Duranit gloves is I like the strap on the bottom because they're now to install them on your hands is much quicker. You just pull the bottom, they go on and you tighten the strap. Whereas opposed to the standard gloves with the strap on the back, you usually have to pull the bottom and then pull the top on and then strap them on. So that's kind of a cool feature there. And then uh, the thing that kind of I was wondering as I read it, like how, how this 3D knitting thing that they were talking about uh, makes a difference, but check this out. What you notice is that there are m less seams on these things. So now you have this seam right here. So instead of having a flat piece of material stitched and folded around your, your hands to give you the grip or to give you the kind of that firm feel, you'll notice there's no seam here on the sides right here. So that is one of the big deals on these things. And notice there's none on the knuckle, across the knuckles here. So you have that much better fit and that actually makes a huge difference. They also have a simulated leather palm that's really grippy with this silicone on here. And then all of these gloves that you see here with the touch tip, you can actually now uh, use your phone with your gloves with that. That's a very big deal, you know, for us in these days. And one of the things with me shooting videos is I don't, I use gloves a lot because I like to keep my hands at least clean enough or one layer away from clean to operate the cameras and touch the video equipment. So that's where it's very helpful. So now those are the big bullet points why these are now quickly becoming my go-to uh, catch-all everything glove. Uh, these will now, I'm gonna have a set underneath the seats in the Jeep just to have because they are just that all around good. And then obviously I'll have a set in the garage for wrenching one step up from the nitrile gloves. Now these are the universal quick fit gloves. These you can see very dirty, a lot of miles on those for just general stuff, really decent. Uh, quick fit, no strap on the wrist gloves. And then these that you go on up into the Pro Gel Pro leather gloves. Now these are remarkable gloves. Uh, the problem, here's the only problem I noticed with these is that these were so good when I was doing some welding and some metal fabrication stuff. You have such good grip with the leather on the palm of these things that it, they just fool you into just being so, and they have this these knuckle protectors and all of this stuff you just feel like they're indestructible. But if you'll notice right here, I blew that through with a grinder. So the sparks from when I was holding a grinding disc uh, just ate right through that. So they're just so amazing that I wanted to use them for everything. So you need to make sure that you're using the appropriate glove for the job that you're doing. And then these are another surprise right here. These are the Pro Protect gloves. Now, normally when I do like yard work and things like that, I just use an old school set of leather gloves. And so this last job I did, I had this really gruesome sprinkler repair, uh, sprinkler line repair and water line repair in the backyard. I decided to just swap these in for some heavy duty shoveling and digging in the dirt and some plumbing. And these were amazing. I can't believe all these years I've been dealing with palm blisters and stuff from my leather gloves when you could see, check out the beating these things took. You can see all the, uh, <laughs> the plumbing uh, pipe cement and all that stuff, but heavy pickaxe shoveling, these are my, my now go-to and they have all kinds of good knuckle protection. This was a very big surprise right here. So these, the Pro Protect gloves, uh, just really, these are now my around the house yard work go-to gloves. Never would have thought that uh, a glove like this would do that catch all type of work. And they even make these with a fingerless version, but that's for like really He-Man, like super like duty dudes, like Tony Angelo level, tough guy guys can pull that off. Not me, I got 
dainty fingertips. So that's my take on these few gloves that I've tried. If you guys want, make sure to go to the Grease, I'll put a link in the description to the Grease Monkey website so you can see the, all the different kinds of gloves that they have and tell me which one you want me to try and put and give you that kind of review on. So here is my honest impression and usage recommendations on my still favorite for general purpose glove, the Bones Nitrile gloves. Now, the only thing where these actually give these things a run for their money is that in these hot summer months, believe it or not, these breathe better. Uh, these things right here offer you that protection and that absolute dexterity, um, but they're hotter than these for sure. So this knit material just breathes a little bit better in these hot summer months. Now, this is the tip to maximizing your Bones Nitrile gloves. If you notice, I have three sets here and I do exactly what I do with my shop rags. So you have three layers of shop rags. If you guys don't know, I'm giving you away the, the tried and true secret here. You have your new gloves, okay? Your fresh gloves for getting in fresh, getting started on projects and things like, you know, things that are kind of like top of the engine stuff. And then you have your medium duty gloves and the Bones has a built-in wear indicator. The white printed Bones on the skeleton print on the outside there, which I just love, also is your wear indicator. If you notice, the medium duty gloves, the Bones are a little dingier, right? Now these are for once you start getting broken in, you start getting into the greasier components, you wipe them off a few times, and then you get to your scrungy, scroungy ones, your really gunky ones on their way out on their way to the trash that are really greasy or you've actually started to do oil changes in them. And then you have these three layers. So that's the way I manage them. And they last forever like this. So I keep these as my hero gloves, I keep these as general gloves, and then I keep these as the grimy, uh, you know, grunt work gloves right before they go in the trash. And then you just keep rotating them in with your new set. So right now, <laughs> I'm actually starting that with my new, <laughs> these two Duranit gloves that I have here. So I'm gonna just wear these in and keep these, not even gonna unpackage these yet until I really need those as a hero set of gloves, or these might actually just go right under the seat in the Jeep as my general gloves in the field so there you go there is a quick rundown of these gloves so now we'll head on over to the dexterity test and i'll show you how gloves with a full synthetic leather palm can still be pretty dexterous not as much as these but pretty dang good check this out now for the ninja warrior course for gloves we have all like the easy stuff that you would do, use in the garage all the way down to the like dreaded 10 millimeter socket and a washer. So we'll see how we do. We'll start with the easy end over here with the tape measure and using it, getting under the lip here and having the articulation do that. Piece of cake, right? Any, most gloves can do that. Sharpie, here we go, next up. Boom, yep, got that, no problem, can draw, howdy. Okay, next up, pencil. Now this may be something that you have to do with the silicone part of the finger. Let's try it first with the, oh, you can still get it with the uh, part of the glove that has this touchpad sensitive one, but like piece of cake with the second finger here, but still doable with the actual first digit. So that was actually a little bit impre more impressive than I thought. Let's see, 15 millimeter wrench. Yep, piece of cake, can get that, both hands. Yep, yep, no worries there. 10 millimeter wrench, let's see if we can get that one. Yeah, piece of cake there. And that's the other thing about the silicone in the in the palms here, in the in the actual grip area, is that it actually helps give you a little bit of, of grip there. So when things get a little bit dicey, you can hang on to that stuff. Now, let's go for the dreaded 10 millimeter. Where's the 10 millimeter? That stupid, there you go. 10 millimeter socket was there a second ago. Where is it? Darn, oh, how'd that get over there? That thing tried to escape. Hmm, <laughs> so we'll put that back in play. There we go, 10 millimeter socket, got that in. And look at the dexterity here. You can still actually operate the socket, the ratchet mechanism forward and back right there actually pretty easily. And here's the, the touch to release that thing. So 
I, I do like that. They're, they're pretty good. Now, for the most difficult thing, picking a washer up off of the floor. Now, I will try first with the, with the fingertip one here, and yeah, sure enough, that is actually pretty tricky. So now I'll go right with my second finger with the silicone, and you'll notice that that picks it right up. So this stuff really makes a difference in the grip capabilities of this thing. So we'll do that again on the right hand. Second finger, I can get that, it comes right up. So that silicone really does make a difference here in being able to have that dexterity and and grip that's pretty nice so cell phone obviously and then same same drill here you can actually hey who's that cute dog uh, <laughs> there you go you can see how those things work so thank you so much for tuning in and watching this thing hoping for a great rest of this year and thank you guys so much for watching and until next time enjoy your drive and your new set of gloves I'm looking forward to giving these things away all right, this rascally 10 millimeter.